What's up? My name's Jazz. So, I'm gonna tell you guys why you need Epic Flux. Why is Epic Flux so important? The reason why is that you can use Epic Flux to recruit heroes and to increase their rarity from rare to epic quality or epic rarity, okay? So, what you really want to do every single week, this store, for the weekly store, will always refresh and you always, always, always want to buy them out. They are very cheap. Uh, what is it? 10 of them, right? 10. Yeah, 10, 10, 10, 100. There we go. 100 for 750. I'm like looking at it and I'm wondering why is it 10? It's not supposed to be 10, but it's a set of 10. And, or it's a, yeah, set of 10s. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm not even gonna bother talking about that. So yeah, look at my Epic Flux. You get 100 per week and it's great. Now, the thing here with the Epic Flux, okay, you don't want to use them carelessly because these are very, very useful. And, uh, you can't, the only way you can get them is just through the weekly store, and from the collection book, and from, you know, the, uh, your account leveling, and your, uh, venture power levels as well, but the main way is just through the weekly store, so if you buy them out, you use it on a crappy weapon, or a schematic, or hero, whatever, you go in downtown, okay, you gotta wait a full week, and it sucks, so, let's look at some examples, so you see how I have some, very few, um, blue weapon schematics are around here somewhere, unless I, I'm pretty sure I have one, one that I really like, somewhere up here, oh yeah, I have a lot actually, so these ones are all legacy actually, but, if I did want, the reason why I keep the blue ones is for both Frost Knight, and because, uh, they have good perks, right, and if I were to increase the rarity, this is what you would have, and look, it costs a hundred! That's why. You can only get one epic weapon, or epic hero, or epic defender. I don't think you can use defenders, actually, per week. You know, so it's gonna suck a lot if you end up missing it. So, you know, like I said, back into the collection book, right? You have these epic heroes. Let's say you want to recruit them, okay? Not unslot, because if, you, if, you, if, if it's not slotted, you're not gonna get this option. So it's recruit, and look at that. It costs epic flex. Now, although I, I'm down by training manual since I like to evolve my heroes, I think it uses that. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. <gasps> Using the recruit method is very, very potent. You can get great heroes, and then you, just from there, you can go into Legendary Flux. Now, the thing with Legendary Flux, they only give you 75 a week. They only give you 75 a week, right? So it's only down by 5, and you can buy... Oh, no, they give you 50 a week. Oh, wait, what? Oh, my God. It used to be 75, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't it before 75 or 80? That's awful. That is what the heck is that? I, I don't remember seeing that. Heck yeah, though. I'll get it. Anyways, so yeah, that is the reason why you want to save up your epic flux, okay? What I have actually been doing, alright, believe it or not, I have a lot of weaponry that are ranged weapons, and I keep them at the epic rarity. Now, the reason why is because the perks are so good. And here's the deal. Because I don't like to farm all day, I don't like to search the red toolboxes and hit gnomes all day, right? For the for the uh, power cells. You see how the epic rarity gives us uh, uh, gizmos, right? To craft them. The legendary rarity costs... Uh, what do we call it? Power cells, right? Oh, this is a legacy as well. Interesting. But yeah, so this is why I like, I love, love using weapon, ep, uh, epic rarity schematics. Now the downside with the epic rarity is that they do not have the unique 6th perk, or the uh, weaponry 6th perk, right? Some of them, some of mine do because they're legacy, so this one has the affliction and the element and the weapon damage, right? And some of these, you know, legacy, legacy, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, on top of that, I do get the freedom to use gizmos instead of power cells because power cells are just a pain overall right you don't want to be using power cells all day because you know lots of my weaponry i i actually recycled a lot of them but you see these are for my defenders when i have the solo missions because no one plays the game in high twine right or well they're all private parties and i don't really have many people uh that play around my time but i use these weapons for my defenders okay and you know for me personally i like defenders but for you guys you guys might like having better heroes or better quality heroes if you're low level you know you're gonna end up having a lot whoopsies wrong button 
a lot of epic heroes. Now here I have some. Here I yeah, I have all these. These are my event ones. Normally I set it to automatically to recycle, but the ones that you don't recycle, make sure that you put into your collection book first. Okay, so there's some of these if I have. I thought I. Oh, maybe I favorited him. Strange. Wait, what? I already, I already did that. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I did that too. What are you trying to tell me? I I met. Okay, whatever, it doesn't even matter. Okay, so yeah, that's about it, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. My name is Jess. Please leave a like, come subscribe. Alright, remember, just to recap, Epic Flux. You buy it out every week. Every single week, buy it out. 10 per week, 100 per week, which equates to a free Epic Hero from a Blue Rarity Hero, by the way, per week. Or recruit through the uh, collection book, right? Um, so yeah, it, it's great. It's great. It's really great. I I actually, or you know, no, this video is getting too long. But anyways, yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Josh. Please like, comment, subscribe. Bye.